Chestnuts. It's not chestnuts. Walnuts. And while well, I'm picking walnuts, a month ago it was like here in Dacia it was the season of almonds. So we picked all the almonds, but there are some almonds that we can still find on the ground. So in between there are the almonds from last month and all those amazing walnuts. Most of them are like the skins are gone. So those ones I just let them dry. Then I just then I, it's just much easier to open this thing. And yeah. And Happy loves to help me. I believe this is an old wise chestnut tree because See, can you see the eyes? Those are like eyes. The eyes of the chestnut tree here. And then there is like a spirit guide face. It's like a, almost like a fire with a face. And look at those eyes. One, two, three. It has eyes everywhere. Like beautiful eyes. Every time I pick walnuts from this tree, I'm, oh, I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed by this tree. I can feel it looking at me. I'm just like... Beautiful spirit. Then... You can't eat them like this. You're gonna break your teeth. You will break your... I will break it for you no, wait, wait. I can do it with two walnuts no. oh yeah that's true so it's, you yeah. know a treat okay so okay, we'll do it <laughs> you have two walnuts and you put them like that and you're just gonna how do you say uh, and you're just gonna press them together and oh this one was bad but it's a good one <laughs> and this one okay ah I found I found it here can do it. You can hear a, cra a crack, but yeah. Yes. Uh, this one is, is bad. Okay, <laughs> let's try one. that. <laughs> Hold on, set. <laughs> I can't. You can I do it. Maybe. Zen is waiting. <laughs> no, it's too hard. Okay, let's do it your way, Mama. <laughs> oh, là, là. For Zen. I think they're not so super good. Ah, oh, yummy. They're, they're fresh. They're yeah, very fresh. Can off their skin. Mm. So that's good. I can't wait to taste that. First is for Zen. I see. I see. Good boy. <laughs> and this one is for you, Mama. Do you want? Oh, yeah. Taste? taste you too. I'll taste it. 
Yeah, they're fresh, so you know, there's a like a yellow thing that oh, you know, yeah, it's yeah. color your it's, it's, uh, it's, Yeah, walnuts can really color your look at my fingers. fingers. My fingers are like yellowish now. It's like henna. No, it's not for you, Sam. I'm gonna taste it. This one's for you. Yeah. Let's see. You can peel the skin. Oh yeah, yeah, because it's so fresh. Mm. Is it good? No. <laughs> it's because it wasn't ripe enough, maybe. Let's it see. Tastes really bad. Like it's old. Really something really old. Oh. Maybe it, because those ones were on the floor. And Zen loved it. Oh my God! No, don't <sighs> eat it. Okay, let's try one. From, uh, oh my God! Let's try from here. Maybe they have to dry, but normally they're really good. Maybe this here. So maybe I have been picking them for nothing. No, then. Yeah, the taste was really um, bad. Okay, but this one is not yellow. So oh, let's oh, try. Oh, you have to <laughs> change your. Mmm. It's good. Mmm. What? Mmm. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I didn't have a chance with the walnuts. You'll have this one. Let me okay. film you because... <laughs> Here, change your... <laughs> Otherwise, you're never gonna like walnuts ever. <laughs> How is it? Oh, it's better. Mm -hmm. It's good. You can also do, you know, walnuts. Milk. The other one was green. So, we, yeah. So that because this you know, color it's is fresh, so I can do like almond milk, milk but oh, with walnuts, yes, walnut. fresh. Yes, we can make some sweets we or need to walnut pie. The skin because the skin is a little bit bitter. Yes, bitter. because it's so fresh. Yeah, That's bitter. Good. good. Mm. <laughs> so these are my picks for today. I wasn't planning that, but at the end of the day, I just felt like spending some time after being a long time in front of the computer. I just felt like spending some time with our beautiful mama nature it's just it's my i think my only way <laughs> one of my best way to relax just to go and my best thing ever that's why i love living with in nature is picking food from nature picking fruits picking uh, things in the wild like greens picking just going and finding some abundant beautiful food for the soul is my favorite thing it just i just it just makes me feel like we're living in full abundance this earth the soil is the richest thing we have as human beings i think and we are little parts little little parts of this beautiful earth we don't own the, the earth it just reminds me that we don't own anything but we're just a little part of it and we just we just just yeah we have to learn to live in harmony and walnuts my one of my favorite desserts which is like really simple I, especially winter nights uh, as dessert at night on front of the fire i love having walnuts with apples <laughs> i don't know why it's just the best taste ever i just love it just having some slices of apples with and, and break some walnuts with it and it's just yummy 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 you should try it <laughs> it's late night and i'm making pizza that's not true <laughs> it's early night but we're we entered already the you know we're in autumn so it's like what time is it today it's like around six Seven. Six seven. Okay, we're a seven, late, seven, eight. But uh, we're making pizza tonight, and I know normally I'm, I eat raw, but some days or some period or some weeks, I, especially when it's getting colder, I like to eat some nice vegan food, homemade food that we make with my daughter Sita. So this is our pizza dough. And today Sita made some bread. It was really good, a small bread. That we almost ate it all. Almost. No, we ate all yeah. of it. There's just a small piece oh, yes. here. <laughs> don't, messy. don't look at the house right now. And 
we ate it with some like nice um, hot pepper sauce that we made in the in the end of the summer and uh, with some tomatoes hot pepper sauce with some tomatoes and we added some olive oil in it it was really good and then it inspired us to make some pizza <laughs> Mind the mess because we, these days we have a lot of things to do. Our kitchen is a little messy, but basically our pizza is gonna be like with simple things we have at home right now. We have to go grocery shopping in the farmer's market, but it's gonna be like lots of tomatoes. We have tomatoes that are left, so we'll wash them and clean them. So lots of tomatoes, some tomato paste, organic tomato paste, olives. Uh, we have a lot of bas basil still in the, in the garden. garden. And we might add some peppers from the garden, maybe. maybe. And we have some vegan cheese from the standard, standard Most, vegan. Uh, yes, that's like melty cheese that will add five minutes just before it, the, the ending of the, the ending of the cooking. And yeah, so with olive oil, of course, because we are living in the land of olive oil, olives. Okay, so I'm putting. With tomato paste, first of all. Pure tomato paste. And then I'm adding, we're actually, because uh, it's dark, we're not gonna get the peppers. <laughs> from the garden, but you can add anything you want. And mushrooms would, would be very nice too, but we're gonna do very simple. Tomato, and basil, and olives. And cheese. And cheese, of course. Mozzarella. Mozzarella, vegan cheese. I added lots of tomatoes, because this is gonna be a tomato, cheese, and olive one. And also I wanna say, uh, Every time I cook or I bake, I make a big, big mess. But on top of that, our house is a big mess lately because we have a lot of things happening in our life and we don't have time to... I'm so sorry about one of my first English vlog and you're seeing us, our house is all messy. But That's will, okay. Uh, yes, <laughs> it's going to improve. It's not, not going, it's not always like this. Um, but we're doing the best we can with what we have. It's amazing. I'm hungry. I'm not that hungry. We ate a lot of bread, <laughs> so I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah. Our eyes are hungry. <laughs> but our stomach is full. I'm adding. We're gonna add the basil towards the end, otherwise the basil is gonna cook too much and it's not gonna be so good. So I'm adding a little bit of black pepper, very little. Normally we love hot peppers, but I'm trying to be kind on my stomach lately, because I eat a lot of hot. I can eat a lot actually. And this is like a mixture of uh, oregano and and uh, from the garden and uh, what you call um, Bibirionade um, Rosemary Rosemary <laughs> yay, yay, yay. Me and not finding the words in any language actually like I have the same problem with my Turkish and with my French I mix the three languages. I don't even know which one I speak better actually. I don't know <laughs> So oregano and we said rosemary, right? Rosemary, a little bit of salt since the olives are gonna be salty. I don't wanna add too much. If it's not enough, we can add. Okay. Oregano is so good on um, rosemary on pizza. It's perfect, I think, combination. And a little more. And then olive oil. They're sapping. They're sapping. Yeah. It's fine. Very, I don't want to add too much because we're going to be adding some also cheese. So my bottle is not that great. But happy. He's looking. I'm not happy. <laughs> okay. mm, and 
done. Now we're gonna put the pizza so in the cook. oven. Yeah, it's gonna cook a little bit and then we'll yeah. add some, some basil. Basil. I think and I'm then, gonna cut them thin. Yeah. Okay. Or then we'll see. we're gonna basil add the cheese. And cheese. In a don't 20 minutes. Please, please, please don't. Just close your eyes. Um. <laughs> And then we'll add some love. <laughs> and also we'll bake it in maybe 200, uh, 180 is good or 200, but our oven is a little old, so 200 is perfect. I'll be checking. <laughs> okay, we're making the second pizza because the dough that we made was really big. And for the second, we have some uh, zucchini. Zucchini. <laughs> Thank you, Sita. We have cor some courgette. Uh, courgette, zucchini courgette. Uh, and then I'm gonna, because we don't have enough tomatoes, so we're gonna add this. And I'll still add some basil, probably. But um, the reason we don't get the peppers, the peppers are far further, like in the garden, and the basils are just near the house, so. <laughs> but it's gonna be good. So. Sam is waiting for me. for I some like that. Cucumber. It's not cucumber. Uh, I don't think he's gonna like it. He, he likes really cucumber, like but uh, he thought oh. that this was cucumber, but no. Nice try. Okay, I think that's enough. Yeah. That's it. Now I'll add some little uh, olives in between. Yeah. Also, and I'll do like this. Uh, Maybe same. we can I'm put add um, the spices. onion. Uh, onions, yeah. So could be want. good with the kebab, with oh. the zucchini. Yeah, why not? We can add some onions. Yeah. And then we'll put all the spices like before and olive oil, and then towards the end, some cheese. Yeah. So that's our second pizza with zucchini. I just added all the spices, which is like simple black pepper, a little bit of salt, and uh, oregano, and Rosemary, dry rosemary. rosemary, and also a little bit of olive oil. And I was gonna say, oh, the dough is really simple. You can check on any pizza dough, but it's like uh, organic flour, dry yeast, salt, and water. You just mix for my dough. You just let it sit. I just cover in a bowl. I just cover it with um, a cloth, just for half an hour, and then get swollen and you're ready to, with a little bit of fla flavor, you're ready to open your dough. And those are maybe, it will give you some ideas for simple vegan pizza to go at home. You can even, you don't even need, I mean, we're adding that for fun because we have it, but you don't, you can even do it without any vegan cheese, simple olive oil and basil and whatever you love. Mushrooms you can add and it's really tasty this way. Doing really fast because uh, the pizza is cooking really faster than I thought. So adding the cheese the first, and I already cut the, the some of the basils. There, there was more. I mean, the the ones that were near the house, they're not that green, so I only found those ones because we're coming at the end of our basil. They're turning into seeds. But uh, in the garden we have some green ones, but it's so dark, I didn't want to go that far. Um, yeah, so we did dry lots of basils for the winter. We, I, um, I say we planted so much basil, I love basil and we dried a lot. There's still some drying, it's so abundant, basil. And we get every year, each year, we get so many seeds from it. So each year we have more and more and more. So we we'll have a big field. So, okay, and then we get the pizza out. So this is our pizza, oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna put the, the basil first, first, right? And this, okay. Yummy yum. We could have even put those at the end, but it's okay. Right? 
the other the other one we can do it like that. Yes. We'll give some for the other one. I don't think we're gonna finish it all, but no. <laughs> so I guess we'll try both of them and see how it tastes. We'll have for some tomorrow for sure. Back in the oven. This is a little more done. It's not burnt, it look, it's just the tomato sauce. tomato sauce that looks darker. It looks and it's amazing. Mm. It smells so good. It could be less cooked, but we like it like that. So I'm going to put the other one in. We made it. <laughs> and of course, at the end of my cooking, I decide to put, to wear my protection um, against. Yeah. <laughs> all the stains which I always make. <laughs> but yeah, so this is our pizza. This is awesome yeah. flowers. Oh. You have to try first. <laughs> Let's see if it's good. Should I do like a very close plan? No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm trying not to show the the messy house. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, well, I'll try it now. <laughs> so, bon appetit! Who is it? Mamma mia! Mm. It's really good. I have cheese in my teeth, <laughs> but it's really, really good. That was a great idea. Sit up. Yeah. <laughs> While we're eating our pizza, we shouldn't forget the second one. So I just added, the zucchinis were almost cooked. So I just added the um, cheese, cheese and this time the, the basil, we're gonna add, add it at the end, the crushed basil is also good. You know, you can add fresh basil or fresh um, um, Not oregano. Rosemary. Uh, no, no. no? Uh, la roquette in French. Um, we say roquette. Or, uh, arugula. Arugula, I think. Yes. Roquette in roquette. French. Arugula. Some fresh also. Uh, once in France I ate that on top of the pizza. But can it's also really fresh good arugula. Too. And fre fresh basil also can be really good. Yeah. On a warm pizza. So yeah, let's eat. <laughs> Okay, so the other one is ready, and I think we ate we we ate almost the whole pizza. We have two They're slices. Just, yeah, two slices left. <laughs> From the pizza. And we're gonna eat one slice of this I think pizza. We're gonna too. try one slice of this one. So this is it. Looks really good. Mm -hmm. Yum. This one looks really nice. Yeah, I like the colors. We need to try it. So ta -da, that's it, beautiful sunflowers. Those are some of the pizza ideas. Maybe it will give you a, an idea to create pizzas with what you have in the fridge. <laughs> I saw you walking the light And the truth may come as I saw